Anytime you hunt dangerous game, your senses come alive. At any moment, a hunter could become the hunted. I've called brown bears into my lap. Take him, take him. Is that close enough for you? Dug in against charging elephants and pursued cats that can open up a hunter like a tomato can in seconds. <laughs> but only the buffalo looks at you with eyes reeking of pure hatred. And he threw me up in the air. And once I landed, he just kept coming back and goring me with his forehead, just pushing me on the ground. And then at the end of every push, he just kept horning me with a horn. That's some serious horn they, they have. And then there's some serious power behind that too. So they can do some damage if they want. All buffaloes share one common trait. When they feel pain, they seek out the source and look to destroy it. There are three species of buffalo found on the African continent. Savannah, dwarf forest buffalo, and cape buffalo. The savannah buffalo has the northernmost range of the three and can be found in the thicker cover, such as the harsh, deadly, and beautiful scrub of northern Cameroon. In size, the savannah buffalo sits between the 700-pound dwarf forest buffalo and its much larger cousin, the 1,800-pound cape buffalo. With horns that sweep back and don't form the classic bosses found on a cape buffalo, the savannah buffalo is, nonetheless, just as formidable a foe. It's full track. Really fresh. Finding a lone and very fresh buffalo track late in the day seemed like divine intervention. So we set sail on the track, and within a couple of minutes, we could hear the oxpecker birds that are always found with the buffalo. These little birds that, that basically hang with the buffalo and they're just eating the, the ticks off these buffalo make a very distinctive sound. So when you hear them, even though you can't see the buffalo, you know the buffalo are right there. There we go. His head was down, but you could see this massive black body, clearly a bull. I don't even have to see the horns to know he was a bull. Well, he looked at us, but we, we, stopped, we stopped moving at that time. That's got to be a bull. Yeah, yeah sure. That's a good one. Oh, here we go. Take it, take it. Here we go. Yeah, reload, reload. Bucks up hard. The shot felt great. I mean, and even as I came out of that recoil, I could see he was, he was still bucking up, runs off. That first shot felt good, man. Yeah, yeah. So we go in, and, and Johan breaks to the right. He says, look, I'm going right. We'll keep the trackers in the middle. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, no hurry, no He's hurry. Down. He's going to be down up there, but He's don't down. rush it, huh? We got about five more steps into it, and off to the left, boom, there's a heap. Kaput. Kaput. Congratulations. You did it, my man. <laughs> well good done. Good shoot, good hunt. Well done. There's the buffalo. I mean, just a, just a really cool looking beast. But it was a very, a very old bull, typical from the, the savannah here. The, the cask is very, uh, very big, but it's a, a good, very, very nice old bull. Yeah. What a neat buffalo. Among the buffalo trifecta found in Africa, the dwarf forest buffalo is the smallest, but is among the most aggressive. Forest buffalo travel in smaller herds, making them harder to track and less predictable. But my expert guide, Matthew Rideau, was quick to decipher the signs of a large bull on the move. So we get down to the far end of this concession and we're, we're just working along, just kind of working the forest edges, hoping that some of these buffalo might have moved out into the more open area. We find two, two bulls, one of which is good. Okay, which one is he? He's on the right. He's on the left now. He's on the left now. There's only two. There's only two. Finally, I ease up. He said, look, it's the one standing, looking broadside left, just ease around here. So I just leaned around, and, and these things are like ghosts. I mean, we hadn't seen any at this point. In the forest, it's almost impossible. So this is the chance. This is the end of the safari. We're going to make it happen. It's going to happen right now. And this guy bucks and he shoots off. Lead one, lead one. Take him. The front one in the front. Good, 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 good. The first shot's good. Then they stop maybe about 175, 200 yards away, which is a really good sign. And you have to go in with the mindset that this thing could be wounded. There it is, there it is. Came around a little bit of a bend and boom, he was down. We got him, man. We got him. That's a nice one. That is a dandy. Look how cool they are. 
What an amazing buffalo. It's like finding a unicorn. Very well done. There you go, man. Very well done, Chris. You got him. That's a true forest buffalo. Exactly. There's no hybrid in here. No, no, definitely I mean, not. that's just a classic, you know, what are they, seven, 800 pounds, something like that? Yeah, something like that. So that's a very fine one. That's, yeah? That's a good trophy. Well, I'm, I'm, it's the best one I've got. That's <laughs> like a good reward. I can't like, believe we did it, man. Way after to go. suffering for a few days in yeah, the yeah. forest and, uh, yeah. I had no doubt. Trust me, I had no doubt. <laughs> merci, merci. And at the end of the safari, hallelujah. It was a, it was a gift. The buffalo of Africa are notorious for their nasty temperament, and the water buffalo demand the same respect. The wild Asian buffalo today only inhabits a small part of its native range on the floodplains and deltas of the Indian subcontinent in Southeast Asia, but has been introduced around the world, including South America. Argentina is now one of the top destinations in the world for free range water buffalo hunts. Sometimes the bush is very thick, and they're very elusive. They're very switched on and wary. This is not something you just go out and pull the trigger on. You know, it's, it's like the water buffalo here in Argentina have lived in the shadow of their, their famous brother in the Cape Buffalo in Africa. Everybody knows the stories of the dangerous Cape Buffalo, but come down here and you talk to these people that have been chased up trees, that have been hit. I mean, they're just aggressive, they're fast. I mean, they're faster than a horse inside of 30 yards. Just understand that it's not easy to get up to these animals. Getting inside of 50 yards is not a, a simple proposition. We've got a nice bull that has broken off to the left and he's kind of circling around. These buffalo are always on the move. They never seem to sit still, so you're always trying to predict their path. But trying to get up on him without the other one seeing us was really the challenge. I ease out to get a shot on him. He's behind a little bit of a, a bush. And then all of a sudden I hear a snort from one of the other buffalo. They're taking off. This guy's gonna take off any second. Last him. Yeah, dropped him right there. Get up to the top of the hill. Last spot I saw him. Thinking maybe he, he tipped over up there. The last spot I saw. Not only is he not there, there's no blood. There's a bit of a track, but no blood. This way. We start going into the thick stuff. Look like he head to the right, huh? Yeah, he was. I, I am switched on, man. I mean, this buffalo could come from any direction. Felt like he was mortally hit, but you never know, right? They're never down until you you basically tap them and know they're down. Yeah, go. No twitching, no twitching. Hey, bueno, huh? Bueno, amigo. Woo. Just look at that. <laughs> could, could we supersize that, please? <laughs> yeah, we go up there, and, and the bull is kaput. Big, magnificent bull. Again, these things are so massive. Maybe 20, 25% bigger than Cape Buffalo. That's really hard to fathom. Boy, I just brought that down, you know? The species of buffalo found around the world are equipped with a variety of headgear. Cape Buffalo have a solid boss and down sweeping horns. The Asian Buffalo of Argentina have horns that curl up sharply, and although not as long, can have a substantial mass. A similar species of Asian Buffalo are found in Northern Australia, with a crescent moon shaped horn sometimes reaching straight out. Most of these uh, animals out here have never seen humans before or very rarely see humans uh, at all, especially the big old bulls with no predators around. That's a little herd up here. There's two good bulls and there's one real dandy bull in there. He's over 90. Yogi thinks he's over 95. In spite of its huge size, deadly horns, and angry disposition, the Asian buffalo is often underestimated as dangerous game. He's got that go ahead and make my day kind of look. And I've heard stories of, uh, of people getting chased up the trees by buffalo and getting gored up the, uh, the butt. Um, I don't want any part of that. You gotta make sure you get on the right one too. It's a nice bull. It's a real nice bull. She's got all the wings at her back. Right up here, they're about, about 100 yards up right now. They're just kind of breaking up right now. We get the wind at her back, so we stay down low. Hopefully we'll just see him kind of cut across the side slope. And we see one buffalo just 
eyes out of there. I mean, it's running full speed. This thing is, I don't know what spooked this thing. I've never seen a buffalo behave like that when it comes to uh, just a vehicle coming up. And I looked at it, I caught one bit of horn and said, wow, that looks pretty good. And, and Yogi's looking over here to the left. There's a distant blob. Oh, that's a big guy right there. That's him. Yeah, that's him. But he's looking at this and he can tell instantly the body size on that buffalo alone was, was tremendous. So we start easing over that way and there's a giant kind of ravine that snakes along a little river corridor. And the buffalo's gone. We don't see it at all. So the assumption was that buffalo's sitting down below. Right down the ravine, if he is, he might bust up. Give us one quick shot right there. So you ready? Standing, standing. I don't know if it's him. It's just a, I just see the feet. I can't see anything else. It looks pretty big, you tell me. Yes, no. Yeah. Good shot. That first one hit him hard. I yeah. know that. Yeah. I think he dropped up there. I'm not sure, but I think he did. No, yeah, no, it was a good first shot. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Hit that. He was worth waiting for, I'll tell you that. Look at that beast. <laughs> awesome. We're gonna make the call, man. I'm glad you said it's like yes. <laughs> shoot, yes, shoot, go. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my, was this thing huge. This is this thing was so beyond my expectations. I never really got a good look at him. Quite frankly, I was just waiting on Yogi to say shoot. I'm down the crosshairs, putting crosshairs on shoulder, and uh, we get up there. I mean this was this was the antidote to ground shrinkage. It was incredible how big this beast was. I think the biggest Quite frankly, the biggest buffalo Yogi's ever taken here. It's uh, it's really spectacular. 104 inches of, of horn here, just an absolutely incredible, epic beast. We conclude our look at buffalo hunts from around the world in the same place where we began, Africa. Home of the legendary Cape Buffalo. For eons, Cape Buffalo have been under siege by lions. Their keen senses and herd mentality makes them difficult quarry to approach. But unlike Plains game, buffalo do not always run in fear from the source of danger. They often dig in and dare the predator or the hunter to come closer. Shoot him again. Shoot him again, Juan. And the thing about buffalo is, is they're so memorable because of the, the challenge that they present. Of all the big game species in the world, you know, there's very few that have all the senses that buffalo have and yet have the danger element. And you put them in a herd, there's a, a multiplier effect of danger, of intrigue, of energy, of, of challenge to get up on them. So it's, it's really tough to think of an animal that has more going for it as a game species than Cape buffalo. Hunting Cape buffalo is really great, mainly because of the chase. Once you find the tracks and you follow, the excitement builds up and your adrenaline runs so high that when you finally find them... Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's a bull. Yes. You're so excited, and sometimes it's a herd of 300, 400, sometimes even 500. And then to pick one out of there, a trophy bull, it's very difficult because so many factors to look at. No, no, there's one behind the tree. Call the shot, Peter. Damn it. Once you find the one you want to take and, and get on him, get on them like a lion stalking his prey, otherwise they're gone. I tell you, buffalo hunting is maddening, it's frustrating, it's exhilarating. You get in touch with your inner terror and energy when you get in close on a herd like this, but it can be frustrating too. Damn frustrating. Pretty good sign. It's our second to the last day. We gotta make something happen. We just found the buffalo. We've crossed into uh, kind of a big Mopani forest back here and it's maybe three or four hours old, something like that, so hopefully they went to water, they're just kind of milling around, they're feeding, they're not on the move, and uh, this could be our chance. We cut the tracks. I mean, it's a nice size herd, and it's, uh, it's game on. Basically, everybody's excited. We know this is the same herd. We finally got them, and uh, it's early in the morning, so we got plenty of time to get on those tracks. And I mean, these guys, these trackers are, are like a pack of wolves. I mean, it's, it's amazing how they work. They sort of do this little rope pattern and kind of work back and forth until finally, you know, they get on the prey. 
They're just sitting there right now. Okay, sit down. There's and we got into these buffalo after three, three and a half hours of tracking, and we could see bits and pieces of the herd. You know, it's heavy grass, there's brush. No, there's no bull there. We could see a bunch of cows. We could see bodies that are sort of intertwined. We couldn't really make out, you know, any good heads in that. So I looked to the left as Peter was looking forward. I looked to the left and I saw one nice bull, but we couldn't, I couldn't make that shot. There was all sorts of brush. He was covered up. Let's move on. So we just kind of eased out and snuck around and kind of made a, a downwind semicircle and got up again, stalked in on them, set up, and boom, they spooked. They heard us. They didn't smell us, but they heard us. And because they didn't smell us, they didn't go that far. They only went maybe 75, 100 yards and kind of settled down, but they had bunched up at that point. They're not going to sit for long either. They're nervous. They're all bunched up. They're all bunched up. Oh, they're all bunched up. There's there's one bull coming behind the tree. Yep, I got him, I got him. I got it. He's got a cow in front of him right now. There's one bull coming behind the tree. Yep, I got him, I got him. He's just about to walk out now. Is that him? No, that's a, it's a cow. It's a cow, it's a cow. That's not him. The one behind now is coming out. Here he comes. That's him, that's him. Ready? Okay, take him. Nice hit. Oh, there you got him. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Watch the herd. Watch the herd. They stop. Whole herd's up there. I go flying up there, the guys come flying up behind me, running after him. I'm just hoping he's gonna break out of the herd, drop dead, the herd's gonna keep going. When we get up there, the herd stopped, and he's in with the herd. Obviously one of the big old bulls, they don't wanna leave him. He might be dead in that herd right now. There he is, death bellow, right there, the death bellow. And all of a sudden I hear the bleh, classic death bellow. It was perfect. I mean, it just told us right then we got our bull after all the miles, after sweating all day long, six, eight hours of tracking every day, second to the last day of the safari, bingo. We got him. It was, it's a team effort anytime you buffalo hunt, buddy. It's just that much fun. Ah, uh, no, he's gone. He's gone. Ah, that's good. <laughs> Captain, we did it, man. Very we did nice it. Nice shooting. Very nice. Yeah, man. This is Look fantastic. Look at that guy. Look at that bus, man. Look at that. That is a beast, man. Look at that. He's, he must be at least a 40 inch of this. Good grief. Oh, man. He's got mass and he's got width, doesn't he? He has. Look at that buffalo. <laughs> Congratulations again. Well done, pal. Yeah. Hunting such a fearless species demands that a hunter is fearless as well. This beast demands more than an accurate shot. It demands a willingness to stare at your possible demise without blinking. At the end of the duel, only one will stand, making any buffalo, no matter what the species, one of the most thrilling and unforgettable big game hunts on earth.